Hey Gucci gang, what's going on y'all? I'm back. I'm a little under the weather today, but we gonna try to work it out to get through this video y'all. I am super excited to announce that on Friday I will be going live to give away hopefully two grand prizes because remember I told you guys with the six, week, six weeks of giveaways that I'll be giving away two grand prizes. I have reached the goal um, for our Gucci Crafts fan page. We are over a thousand subscribers on there y'all. Y'all just don't know. Um, and we have almost reached 2,000 subscribers here on the YouTube channel. Hopefully by Friday, we will have met that number and yay! I will be giving away two grand prizes. And y'all know when I give away the grand prizes, like it's tons of stuff in those grand prizes. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and subscribe to the Facebook fan page, um, which are both Gucci Crafts. Also, I did just opened up sorry Ugh, i told y'all i don't feel good i just opened up um a crafting school i teach crafts.com i'm very excited about that uh the first class under i teach crafts.com is going to happen this coming sunday on the 14th um and it's a continuation class because it happens on the 14th and the 21st it's the design space boot camp um Due to the grand opening, I have knocked the price down and kept it at the 50% mark, um, which is 30 bucks for three hours of instruction. Can't beat that. It's $10 an hour. Um, and I also have reduced the price on our rhinestone class, um, which is also... Um, it's ten dollars um, for an hour and a half, actually, um, for that rhinestone class, uh, and you're gonna get a free SVG with both of those classes. So go, you guys, to um, www.iteachcrafts.com uh, and sign up for those classes. Um, the coupon code for the Design Space Bootcamp uh, is listed at the top of the website. It is Gucci Gang Fifty. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci. I'm trying to give y'all the best Gucci Gang I can give y'all. Feels a little under the weather. I think I have a. I'm getting a sinus infection, I think. Anyway, so to that tonight, today, whatever it is right now, um, we are going to be decorating a water bottle. I'm going to be making my daughter a little water bottle. I wanted it to be a surprise, but she sneaks and watch my YouTube videos. So, Cameron, if you're watching, mommy's making you um, a water bottle. So, um, I'm going to add a little bit of bling uh, to the top and to the bottom for her. And then also a little bit of bling on the decals that I'm going to do for her. Um, so, I have my decorations already cut out. Um, and we're going to sprinkle these little uh, mermaids uh, here, there, and, you know, somewhere all up in that thing. Our little mermaid pieces. Just gonna kind of like freehand design it as we go along. And then I have my gems over here that we're gonna put on. I'm using um, just the really inexpensive gems from Michaels, the plastic ones. Um, for the rhinestone class, I suggested in the syllabus that you get the glass rhinestones um, from Amazon, which are a little bit more expensive than these, um, but they shine a little bit better. Um, to practice, you know, I always tell you guys practice with the cheap stuff first and then move on to the really expensive stuff. But I'm not going to use the really expensive stuff for this one because it's for my daughter and she's eight. And she probably won't know where this water bottle is going to be in probably about a week after I give it to her. So we're going to use the um, inexpensive gems from Michaels on her. I'm going to be attaching the gems with my gem tech. Love this stuff. It does not smell as bad as E6000, and it holds really, really well. Okay? So, let's go ahead and jump on into it, honey. So, I have my little, just little rug here. Not rug, but my little towel here. All right, so let's get started. We have our gems here. I have my little pick -em up tool from Silhouette. And I have um, a little wax tool that you can also use to pick up gems. Like that. It's like a little wax Q-tip. Um, what I've done to the water bottle, this is a Walmart water bottle. The 98 cent ones and the crafting wheel is raving about. Um, and what I've done is I've basically just popped the bottom off uh, to make it easier. Uh, for me to apply my gem tack and to apply the jewels. 
So I'm going to give a moderate amount of gem tag here. Even though it dries clear, you can still kind of see it. Um, so I don't want to use very much. And, and gem tag has the consistency of Mod Podge um, if you've ever worked with Mod Podge. Let's use our little weird Q-tip thing here. And I'm just gonna go in with some of these big ones. I'm gonna leave a little space there to add a smaller one in there. Um, using the different sizes gives you a little bit more depth um, when you're applying the gems. And luckily for the bottom, um, we're able to use uh, the bigger size gems. I want to make sure that I don't have a gem here um, at hitting the bottom. So when the water bottle sits, the gem won't be hitting. Because I'm making this for an 8-year-old. So let's keep that in mind. And I'm just going to go in and use a couple of different sizes. Again, this is just giving... Um, the design a little bit more depth when you use those different sizes and sometimes your little pick them up tool doesn't want to let your gym go and you see that little space in between there it's gonna dry clear but um, if I had some that were a little bit smaller, which I have some really, really small ones in there um, that I might end up utilizing as well as we go along here. I want to make sure that I'm able to get my water bottle back down in there. And again, that my gems are not hitting too close to the bottom here. I think my daughter's gonna love this. And you can use any color combination that you want. Uh, these are her two favorite colors. Um, so I'm playing on that. Let's see. Oh, doesn't wanna let it go. Let my people go. Okay, I'm going to have to switch to that uh, silhouette pick em up tool. There we go. There we go. The gem tack um, dries pretty quickly. Um, so, I kind of like to work with it when it's in a tacky stage, like when it has dried a little bit. Um, to me, it's a little bit easier um, to get the gem to stick down. But tonight I'm having issues with my pick em up tools. <clears throat> Excuse me. Letting it go. I'm going to add a little bit more gem tack here. And I, I love doing these. This is, it's like so therapeutic. And even though it dries clear, you want to make sure that you don't just have like globs of it in places because uh, you'll still be able to see it if you look really closely at it so I'm just getting those in there and like I said you can um, use any color combination that you want you can mix up the sizes um, all that does is just, it gives the design a little bit more depth to see those different sizes in there. And it makes it really pretty. And as we go along, we'll just paint. And any, like, extra excess that I see, I'm going to try to wipe off. Um, just because I don't want it to look all gunky. And I do have my gem tack sitting out in the little tray. So that's kind of helping with um, the consistency of, of the tackiness of it. Um, because it is exposed to the air. I'm going to take my brush and just get that extra off of there. And now, back to applying. My little 
pickup tools just they don't like me tonight and I'm a little under the weather so that could totally be it Hmm. It's like they just don't like me. But this is the, the basic concept of it. We want to go along. I got to get my, um, my pick-em-ups together here, y'all, because... I'm going to mess around and be like, my goodness... I don't know what's going on with that, why it won't do what I want it to do. I'm about to go old school and just use my dang on hand. Because I don't want my glue to get too, too tacky. I think that's what I'm going to have to do for right now. Which is a hassle. To do it by hand, but I can't get those things to act right. They're not cooperating. I think my silhouette pick them up may be a little dry. Let's see. Oh, now. Oh, look at that. Y'all see it fell off? You've been getting a lot of use, huh? Let's try and fix that real fast. This came along with the set. So this is a really, really like, cheap little wax thing. I couldn't find my wax pen, uh, what I, which is pencil, should I say, which is what I usually like to use. Okay, that's working better for us there, isn't it? Yes, it is. When it cooperates, the speed of how fast you can get this done, uh, it goes a lot quicker. A lot quicker. When you can pick them up quickly. Making sure we don't, we're not too close to the bottom there. And a little bit more gym tag there. Not too much. That's the key, like, not to over glue it. Don't over glue. Huh. I should have used a different size there, which I think I'm going to try to. Yeah. I want to use a different size because I want to be able to get more of that gap um, in there. Hmm, I want a pink one. Wrong color. This going to drive me batty tonight. <laughs> okay. And you see my technique for my fingers? I'm just in inside of there. Um, so I'm not really touching the glue or anything like that. glue off of there, off of that right there. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to finish this out all the way around. And when I'm done with it, I'll come back and show you guys the finished result. And then we'll move on to the top. All right, you guys. So we have finished the bottom. We still got some dry in there to do. We can still see the white there a little bit. So we're gonna put this over to the side. I'll go back through um, after we finish the top just to make sure that there's no extra glue on there that I could get rid of. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more gem tack. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the top. I'm gonna use my three fingers this time. And I'm just going to go, and I'm going to be trying to stay above that little black line there that's on the top, neatly as I can. 
and then go back and do a little cleanup. Ooh, dropped it. Dang it. It happens. Oh, two fingers may be better. And then for the top, I may just use the medium ones and the small ones. Dang it. That's what happens when you don't feel good and you craft. You just drop in stuff. Couldn't get the thingy to pick up the thingy to the thingy the right way. But it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. We gonna get this together, honey. And get it done. Get her done. That's what we're gonna do. I think my little mini is going to absolutely love it. Especially, um, oh, Jesus, the mermaids. Not cooperating with me tonight. I'm leaving all that in the video, too. <laughs> I am not editing that out. So y'all can see this is real life crafting. It happens. And see, when your little tool works the right way, it's so much easier, quicker, um, to get this done. Love it. So what I'm going to do... Now that you guys have basically seen how I get the top done is I'm going to finish the top and then we'll come back and we're going to do um, the body uh, of the water bottle itself. All right, so now I have my top and my bottom blade out. Put them on just to show you guys. I still have to dry a little bit. If I weren't making this for my daughter, I would do the very top too, but... Um, yeah, we're not going to do that. So I'm going to twist this off of here. Just wanted you guys to see um, what it looked like on there. And we're going to let that dry a little bit. Um, the same thing for our bottom. I think I'm going to take this off. If I can get it off without moving my gems. Oh, might not be able to. It may be stuck until our uh, gym set, which is fine. That's fine. Can't get it off without moving my gems around. Got a little bit of gem tack on the bottle. Let's get that off before it really dries. I'm gonna scrape that off. Okay. Now we're gonna move these to the side for a second. And we are gonna get our other decorations that are gonna go on the actual bottle itself. I'm gonna lift this up and see my crazy dirty crafting table just got stuff on it everywhere. This is gonna go on the front and this one will go on the back. I was thinking about blinging out her name, but I was like, eh, knowing my daughter, she'll get to picking that stuff off. So I didn't really give her a lot of bling um, on the bottle itself because I could have bling blowed it, just blinged it out. But we're going to give her just minimal bling. So we're going to take our transfer paper, which actually is permanent sticker paper because I ran out of transfer paper. But where there's a craft, there's a way. So I'm just making this less sticky for myself. You don't have to usually do this at regular... Um, transfer paper and let's just cricket transfer paper. Sometimes cricket transfer paper can be really, really strong, but I actually love that about it um, for certain material. So we're going to lay that down and we're going to go ahead and varnish.
So I always want to peel away at an angle. And I'm applying very light pressure here to the back. And we got it off. So we're going to take our bottle. I'm going to be very careful trying to get this on um, to not disturb. I should have waited until we did this to show you guys the entire look. So I'm just pressing this down from the middle, and then I'll go outward. I don't care if I get wrinkles in the transfer tape. What I don't want is wrinkles in my vinyl. So I'm just pressing on the areas, making sure my vinyl doesn't have any wrinkles in it. I just want the areas that have my vinyl attached to it to adhere to the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to varnish it onto the bottom, which I kind of did a pretty good job of doing that with my hand. But I want to make sure that I get it on there while trying to keep the wrinkles off. Yeah. Avoiding wrinkles in the vinyl can help you to avoid air bubbles um, when you're getting your vinyl onto your item. Sometimes you will get air bubbles um, with some materials, you can go ahead and use a blow dryer and get those air bubbles out. With this plastic bottle, I wouldn't be able to do that. The blow dryer would just melt it. So, I want to make sure I get that on there really good. And when we're pulling off of the bottle, we're also going to do it at an angle. And this has got my, this has got my vinyl real good. Okay. I'm not using regular transfer paper, so have to be really careful because this is this is actually clear sticker paper that I'm using, and it's permanent clear sticker paper, so it has a really good grip. That's why I um, took it against my hand first, just to uh, get rid of some of the adhesive. And I also really have to pay attention to the fact that my gems aren't dry down there at the bottom. And again, as you notice, I'm going at an angle. See that angle? Going at an angle to get this off. And I'm going very slowly. Ugh. I hit one of my gems down here at the bottom. Ew. Some of my some of the gem tack is already starting to really get tacky and dry. This is not going to be reusable. And I'm only doing this because I'm trying to avoid um, messing up my gems down there at the bottom. a few of them. Let us fix what we moved. I don't want no gym tack on this bottle either. I'll just scrape it off. All right, so we fix what we move. We got Cameron on there fairly straight. Could have been a little straighter. it to read upward her name pretty, 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 pretty. and that is just the front so now we have to get the back on there 
And I was going to add some gems to the front, but um, on the bubbles, let's see if the big gems cover the bubbles. Yeah, they, they cover the bubbles pretty well. Let's look at this. Smaller gems. Yeah, that covers the bubble pretty well. Cool. Oh, we have our little mermaids. Our little mermaids that we need to put on the front. Our little bitty, itty bitty mermaids. I'm gonna peel these just like a sticker. I'm not even going to deal with transfer tape for these. And this one is going to go down here. Clips that one. I'm going to put this one up here. Oh, got to be careful of that tail. Come here, little mermaid. Come here. That's not how I want you to be. And now we could just varnish on with our finger. This is all permanent vinyl also. It's permanent hieroglyphic vinyl. She has the front of her bottle. Oh, she is, I'm gonna tell y'all. <clears throat> Minnie is going to love that. Let's cut around this a little bit. I didn't do it to the other one. We're going to do it to this one. Um, especially because I have these small letters here that we have to worry about this uh, sticker paper not wanting to let go. Let's toss that. y'all see me? Yeah, y'all guys can see me. Y'all can see me. Um, gonna go here and this pretty little mermaid right here is gonna go in between that. It says mermaids get thirsty too. And it looks like our eye is kind of tilting. It actually kind of looks cute like that. That was on accident, um, accident on purpose. <laughs> looks kind of cute like that. Put down our transfer tape. You want to make sure you try to get your transfer tape down as smooth as you can. Um, and sometimes when you're going on curved surfaces, it's good to um, it's good to uh, slit, put little slits in your transfer tape um, to give you more um, pliability, so you can work with it better. You want to get a good varnish on that. My stupid butt. I don't think that I did the thing with my hand on this one, but we'll see what happens. It's coming off pretty easy. Like I said, remember, always at an angle. I got a little extra piece that wasn't on the thing all the way. Uh oh, spaghetti-o. This is gym tack we have on here. Let's scrape this off before it really starts to dry. Don't get in the way of our, de our decorations, our decal, our decal, I'm sorry. Somebody told me I say that wrong. I don't know, it just comes out that way. But y'all know what I be talking about, so that's all that matters. Okay. We're gonna try to get this on. Straight as we can, really. Kind of 
kind of at a disadvantage with the bottom. And I always start from the middle and then I pick a side to go out towards. And remember, don't care if I get wrinkles in the transfer paper. I just don't want those wrinkles to be going through my actual vinyl. Because that is how you get bubbles, my friend. I only want bubbles in my bath, not in the vinyl. We're gonna varnish this. And I'm avoiding all those spots that there's wrinkles um, in the transfer tape, making sure that it, it doesn't hit my actual vinyl. So I don't get no bubbles. I'm gonna peel it back. Always at an angle. Let's see if we're gonna get this off pretty good. Since we didn't do the thing again. I might just keep me. I'll have to check and see how expensive this paper was. Because this might be my new go to for uh, for transfer tape. I didn't think it was going to work at first, and then I tested it out. This video almost didn't go to production. I was like, what? I am out of transfer tape? No, and I cannot find my packing tape. It's probably in the garage somewhere. This one is being a little stubborn. I'm going to have to get it. There we go. Now let it go. Thank you. I don't want any bubbles in my pipe. Yeah. I didn't stick it to my hand first, so that's my bad. Hopefully it doesn't do my letters like this. Lord Jesus, please don't let it do my letters like this. Oh my God, I think that's my stomach that just growled like that. I need to eat. I wonder if y'all can hear that on the video. Comment below if you heard my stomach growling. <sighs> okay. Come on. There we go. We're gonna make this happen, Captain. So I'm getting some that, um, as you can see, it's not rolling off with my makeshift transfer tape here because this really is not transfer tape. But we're making it happen. <laughs> it's squeaking and squealing. I don't care as long as it give me my, my vinyl onto this bottle. And I can get through these letters. It wants to keep these circles. But I need these little bubbles. Because they help with my mermaid theme of the bubbles. is supposed to be like bubbling water. Too happy. We kept that bubble, but we're gonna get it back. 
if we can just make it past the words, Jesus. Tried to take my wife. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to toss that on over there. And we fix our Y. And we got it. Mermaids get thirsty too. Yes, they do. And now, like I said, for the mermaids, we're not going to waste the transfer tape. We're just going to go right in here. Grab that. Oh, my stomach is growling again. Mermaids get hungry too, I guess. So I'm going, what I'm doing right now with my mermaid is I'm trying to line it up with the K. Um, with Cameron there in the front. Trying to get it at the tip as much as I can. Because uh, I want it to be like she's diving down into the water. That was the whole concept when I made this. And I want to make sure that she goes on seamless as well without any bubbles, my love. And she made it on there without any bubbles. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, I knocked one of my gems off. Let me see. This one a little, that's fine. He can stay off. Just wasn't meant for him to be on there. I should have left this off and let it dry. Is what I should have did. Now I have these other little mermaid stickers that I was just gonna like go up the side with. Excuse me. And now that I think about it, I probably should have more bubbles for the side which I may just add um, I may just add some gems as bubbles up the sides just to fill in this little space here I think I have three big ones two big ones and two small ones I thought I did three, but maybe not. Hmm, I don't know. This one's kind of close to the other one there. And yeah, that's my stomach. Okay, stomach. Oh, I think she's going to love it. Love, love, love it. I promise to eat before I make my next YouTube video. I kind of don't want that one to be level. Well, I guess if it's like that on the other side, too, that's fine. This is just a little freestyle design, and I thought this little mermaid was really cute, and it looks like a little girl. Um... So I wanted to kind of offset the one I used on the back because I thought she was a little adultish, but I like the way it looked like she was diving down into the water. So I kind of just stuck those on the side just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. Little razzle dazzle. And then let's see, we have our top over here drying. Screw that all the way. But there we have it. I don't even think I'm going to add any gems to the bubbles. I think I'm going to leave the bubbles just the way they are because I like it. And again, it's for my daughter, so I don't really want to add too much bling to it. Um, but if you were doing it for like an adult or you wanted to add a little bit more razzle to the dazzle, um, you could go ahead and, and add in some um, gems um, onto the little bubbles um, to make it look like the, the um, gems are bubbles or you know, something like that. Just to give you an idea of how that would look. 
almost, this one almost covers um, this bubble all the way. The only reason why I would want it to cover it is just because they're a different color. But it, it almost um, covers it all the way. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave, leave her just like this. Sometimes less is more. And again, it's for an eight-year-old, so... I think it came out pretty cool. Cute, cute, cute. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures of it um, with some tissue paper in it. Just to post at the end of the video so you guys can really see the words and how everything looks on it. Um, but I really love the under the sea theme and it, how it looks like the mermaids are actually floating around and all swimming because uh, they get thirsty too. Yes. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Um, again, you guys, I have my rhinestone class coming up on um, the 28th of this month, 28th of July. Um, and this coming Sunday, July the 14th, um, I'm going to be teaching um, the Design Space Boot Camp. It's going to go over um, everything um, within Design Space. We're going to actually click on every single button within Design Space, and that's why I'm calling it Boot Camp. Um, and that starts, again, Sunday at 2 p.m. And then um, we also have... Um, the continuation of that class, which is going to be July the 21st. I'm kind of cricket. Hmm. Which is going to be July the 21st, uh, also a Sunday at 2 p.m. Um, both of those classes go for an hour and a half, and that's why you're going to end up getting three hours of instruction. The class on the 28th for the rhinestone goes uh, for an hour and a half as well. Um, so $10 for an hour and a half and $30 for um, three hours of training. Like, I'm giving y'all a super, super deal. You can't beat that. Also, you guys, do not forget to go and join my I Teach Crafts group on Facebook. Um, we got a lot of cool things popping off in there. And Friday, I am going to go live. It is going to be a major epic live. I have so many giveaways left to give away. Um, and next Friday as well, um, I'll be doing another live um, because we're still within that six weeks of giveaways, y'all. We are still rocking within our six weeks of giveaways. Um, and we still have more giveaways to give to you guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, in order to win, you have to be subscribed to the Gucci Crafts. YouTube page and the Gucci Crafts Facebook page. Love you guys. See you later.